A while ago, I began a series on starting a video company. The introduction to that is linked above. But in this video, I want to focus on a critical mindset, which is being professional. We're talking about a company and not operating as a paid amateur, someone who's trying to make a bit of cash on the side from their hobby. So let's get into what that means and why it's important to think of yourself as a company and operate as a company. Every piece of business that you get or hope to get will start as a negotiation. And a negotiation, as you know, is a balance of power, yours and your prospects. The value will be tipped in your prospects favor if what you're offering is perceived to be of low value or if you come across as desperate to win the business. If both of these things are visible, then you will have almost no negotiating power. Professionalism will help with both of these factors. So you need to come across to your potential customers like a professional company. And this means things like having a professional website that clearly sets out your business proposition. What can the customer expect? What do you deliver and what do you not deliver? What do you commit to? What standards can the customer expect and so on? As a start, I think you need to have a system for managing your financial interaction with your prospects and customers. At the very least, this includes quotations and invoices as these are the business documents that the customer sees. So they need to support your company's professional image. I use Intuit QuickBooks, others use Xero or Sage, but it doesn't matter what you use. I think you do need to have a consistent way though of quoting for your business and invoicing for the work that you have delivered. You can create your quotations and invoices from spreadsheets or documents as long as they look professional and have all the necessary detail in them. Provide a formal quote for every piece of business before you start. This will flush out any misalignment of expectations and prevent surprises later on. Never make up your prices on the spot. Make sure you understand the deliverables first and then your quote can be built from a fixed price list that covers all of your services. I have another video about how to make your price list so that your business is going to be profitable and that's linked here. You won't always charge the list prices but you can show discounts and allowances that the customer will get and this will show them the value that they are receiving and also allow you to manage these so that you can work to reduce them over time in a controlled way. You can make your offer attractive by offering these discounts and allowances, but these should be time bound. I will cover the difference between discounts and allowances in another video. So subscribe if you want to catch that when it comes. Any offers that you make really should be time bound. You can make the offer valid for 30 days in order to get the order decision quickly. Or you can say that filming must be scheduled within a certain window, such as the next two calendar months. If you're offering something, in this case, a reduced price, then expect something in return, such as quick turnaround on the project and the payment. Issuing formal quotes and invoices will definitely make you come across more professionally. You should establish a basic set of terms and conditions that your quotes and invoices should refer to. Keep this on your website and reference it on your documents. Hopefully you won't ever have to rely on these in court, but there's no reason or advantage in not having them. Every company that takes itself seriously has terms of business. All of this may sound a bit admin heavy or pedantic, but believe me, this is what makes you come across as a professional and will make your customers respect you more. It will also, as we've said, strengthen your negotiating position. Another reason professionalism is important is that customers like to use a business that's reliable and consistent. That way they know what they're going to get. Doing business is easier for them and they feel that their risk is less. 
on your side, you need to eliminate mistakes. So use checklists or a system for the kit that you will need to take for a job. Getting repeat business from satisfied customers is so much easier than getting new customers. So make sure that they find you consistent, reliable and professional. Specify on your quotation not only what you will deliver, but when you will deliver it. You may overachieve on this and then you will get the credit for it, whereas not specifying delivery of the finished product may give rise to unrealistic expectations and create dissatisfaction if you fail to meet your customer's notion of what they might expect. I'd love to hear your thoughts in the comments below. What other things do you think businesses need to focus on in order to be more professional and how will that help establish their business better? So thanks for listening and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.